Hello everyone. This video is for my followers in particular. I know that many of you are Trump supporters, so some of you may not like some of the things I have to say in this video. I understand that you follow and support Trump, but he may not be for your best interest, and I'll explain why. Over the past year or so, Trump had the opportunity to fire Tony Fauci, and he didn't. Trump had the opportunity to end the federal mask mandate, and he didn't. Not only he didn't do that, he also pushed the vaccines. As you all know, vaccines are harmful. He pushed the vaccines. So I know that you all were in favor of Trump being reelected and all of that. And, and Trump may have been the lesser of two evils. But we can't put our faith and trust in Trump either. And the reason why is because of what the Bible says at Psalms 146 verse 3. And I shared this scripture several times before. Psalms 146 verse 3 states, Do not put your trust in princes, nor in a son of man, who cannot bring salvation. So we cannot put our faith and trust in human leaders. Now, the reason why Trump didn't end the mass mandate or fire Tony Fauci may be our ignorance, or he could be a part of the deep state. You, you never know. But the truth of the matter is, Trump has disappointed a lot of people. And I'm sorry if that offends some of you. But I have to be truthful in my videos, even if it means losing some followers. I'm neither a Democrat or a Republican. I'm a conservative Christian who tries to share the word of God to those who want to listen. And the word of God states that we cannot put our trust in human le leaders. As a matter of fact, let me share another scripture with you at Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. Jeremiah 17, verse 5 states, Curse is the man who puts his trust in mere humans, who relies on human power. Once again, we cannot put our trust in human leaders. Now, to be fair, some of them may have our best interests at heart. Some of them may try to do the best they can. But not even the most honest-hearted politician can get rid of all the wickedness and injustice that goes on in this country. So we have to put our trust in God. So keep that in mind. But as I said at the outset of this video, Trump could have, but didn't fire Tony Fauci, who's giving bad advice to people in the, in the, in the country. He didn't end the, the, the mass mandates, and he pushed the vaccine. So he may not be for you all. I know this is not necessarily something you will want to hear, but that's something to consider. Now, he, he may be the better choice. He may be better than Joe Biden. But at the same time, you can't really put your trust in Trump either. So please don't get caught up in the politics, the partisan politics, whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm not into politics like that, so I don't know all the terminology. But start looking to God's word, the Bible. Start looking in that. You know, for us Christians who are deep into the word of God, we know that Bible prophecies are being fulfilled in these times. We see the signs. Salvation is not going to come through human rulers. It's going to come through God only. It's going to come through God through his son, Jesus Christ. So please keep that in mind, my friends. Please keep, keep that in mind. I know this is a hard pill to swallow for some of you, but you have to come to the realization that Trump may not be the best for you. I'm not saying Biden is either, but the, the point is 
you're going to be disappointed. Regardless of who's in office, whether it be Trump, Biden, any Democrat or Republican candidate, you, he's going to disappoint you. So put your faith and trust in, in God. Because God's kingdom is the only thing that's going to save us in these difficult times. Not Trump, not Biden, not whoever. Put your faith and trust in God's kingdom. Seek God's kingdom and all these other things will be added to you. That's uh, Matthew 6, So I just want to share that scripture knowledge with you all for the next few moments. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm going to give you a little food of thought. If you like this video, please click the like button below and follow me here on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you, everyone.